Jeff Ulbrich, UCLA special teams coach, linebackers coach, right, Bob? Yep. Uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about tempo and everything like that. This seems to be the theme of this so far. Right. And when you talk about changing a culture, where does that start? Wow. It starts. You it, told me off the cuff. I mean. I know. It starts in so many places. You yeah. know, it starts, I think, first with the, the, the conditioning program, the strength conditioning program with yeah. Sal. You know, he's the, he's the one at this level of football that gets the most interaction, the most time with the players. Yeah. So I think it starts with him. I think he's a big part of it. And I think um, Coach Moore hiring a guy like Sal Losi is uh, it's indicative to the type of culture he wants to create here. He's a guy that's no nonsense. He's tough. He's got a lot of old school to him. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, the players love him because he's making them better and he's pushing them harder and he's making them the players that they are. You know, and then the culture changes from, from the meetings to the practice. It, it comes to the way we eat, the way we talk, the way we, the way we treat each other. I mean, it, everything has to change. Yeah. You know, it has to become something new. And, and I think the guys are starting to realize that. And, and are we where we need to be? Absolutely not. But yeah. we're, we're taking steps there. You know, when you take these steps, there's the – idea of doing too much at once or, or getting right. ahead of yourself getting ahead of your skis right. you know how as a coach do you have to show a little restraint in that because I've, I've watched you guys kind of want to let them let loose but then say eh, let's right. maybe pull it back right here um i think coach moore is kind of he, he's kind of taking the lead on that yeah you know regarding how much we're going to allow them to have and do and and uh he's got a really good feel for it i think a really really good feel um, he's had time, I think now, he's been a head coach, he's been obviously a coordinator for a long time, he's had now an opportunity for a couple of years to kind of reflect on yeah. on what worked and what didn't work, and and uh, he's got a really, to me, a really unique formula for building a successful program, so I'm excited about it. One of the things that he's talked about is, is how he feels more of a fit in the college game at this point in his life. Yeah. You, you know, as a young coach yourself, wh- right. what do you feel about you, about you being in the college game as well? I love it. I, when I, You know, when I thought about coaching, which was really early in my career. Was it? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, this is where I saw myself. Okay. You know, from the standpoint of, of really making an impression on these kids. Yeah. Football's the obvious part, you know. I feel like uh, I was fortunate enough to be around a lot of good players and coaches and, yeah. and uh, see a lot of good football and, and learn this game pretty well. And, and I'm excited about the opportunity to pass that along, but more excited to really leave an imprint. And I'm not saying you can't do that at the NFL level, but I think, you know, at this level it's – you know, you almost become that surrogate father to these guys, yeah. and, and um, that's exciting to me. One of the things that's interesting is I keep hearing this from the players, the level of professionalism, the level of professionalism, and it seems like you guys have brought a, I don't know if that's just in terms of expectations or in terms of how you guys conduct yourselves as well. Right. Do, do you think that that's been kind of a theme for you guys as coaches as well, just kind of treat this as, as training ground for the NFL in a way? Um, I the NFL to me, it's uh, I'm not big on goals. Okay. I'm, I really not. I'm not big on constantly looking at the future. I think that we miss steps along the way when we do that. Okay. You know, I I eliminated the word win from the special teams room. You know, we don't even talk about winning. It's a wooden thing. Yeah, without a doubt, it definitely roots in, in a lot of his philosophies. And, yeah. And uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to be anything close to wooden, <laughs> but but the um, the foundation that he created is to me is the key to being really successful not just in football but in life yeah. you know so we talk about the process and the and the byproduct of that to me is is going to be win. you know we're watching uh, this coaching staff we're watching you we're watching uh, Eric Yarber uh, Steve Broussard uh, Demetrius you know these young coaches sprinting all over the field right. screaming getting into it just real football yeah you know that football coaching mentality and of course it's going to trickle down to the leaders at what point or when do you think they kind of take the, the lead from you? Or is that the kind of thing that maybe right. that lasts, that, that's not going to happen until summer, or do you want it to happen We'll now? see. It's, we'll see. It's, okay. it's hard to tell, you know. The, um, the sooner they take it, the, the sooner that this becomes their team, yeah. you know, and we're just kind of the caretakers on the outside, the better, you know, because to me that's extremely powerful. Yeah. When, when you take ownership of a team and, and it becomes your own, there's, there's nothing stronger than that. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about some linebackers right now. Uh, you look like you have a, a budding star in Eric Kendricks. He's yes. a guy who flashed last year with, with a lot of potential. What's the next step for him in spring ball? What does he need to, to learn now that's going to benefit him come fall? Right. He needs to work on everything, as all these guys do. They're, yeah. We don't have anybody that's close to a finished product. Okay. Um, but what's extremely promising with Eric and with all the guys is that they're so eager. They're so eager. You know, huh. they they're 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 wearing me out in the meetings and you know they just 
picking my brain, which yeah. is phenomenal, which is awesome for me, and I love it. And uh, and we have some guys that have, to me, some some from a physical standpoint, they've got the tools now. Yeah. They've got the tools to take this game as far as they want to take it. So uh, we'll see. You know, we'll just take it a day at a time, and you know, we we'll try to prepare the best we can. And they're eager, so so we got a chance. Last thing I got for you is uh, Damian Holmes uh, yeah. switching from you know, pretty much a, a sole D end to this D end linebacker right. kind of hybrid right. guy. What are you seeing out of him? He looks like he's a lot leaner. He looks like he's yeah. kind of cut down on some of that weight. Damian is to me, he's he's we want, he is what we want this entire program to look like, without a doubt. He he knows one way, and every single guy in this team knows that he only knows one way, yeah. and that's full speed. You know, whether it be the way how physical he is or his effort or his attitude or his, his level of the way he prepares is unbelievable. For a guy that's never played linebacker, he knows every run fit now. He knows every pass drop. He knows I give him something, next day he's got it. He owns it. You know, yeah. so, uh, yeah, he, he epitomizes everything what we want. He's, what, a, what a Bruin should look like from now on. Yeah, good stuff, man. Jeff Ulbrich, UCLA linebackers coach, special teams coach. Thanks so much.